Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic, Survivor Danger Darkness Dwarves. Uh, today, we are playing the Scout once again, because it's been a while, but we are playing the Recon class. So let's see, they've got access to light weapons, 25% dodge, and when dodging an enemy damage, you get a buff. Seems cool to me. Oh man, Zukovs don't have a overclock. Unfortunate. That's gonna be our main weapon. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be our main weapon, but it is a weapon. Oh, you know what? Uh, I didn't really think about it. I just kind of went to the magma biome because uh, we're going on has two today. And uh, it had the most like unlockables, but Theoretically speaking, assuming the, the dodging works with the magma damage. By the way, we're getting like fucking crazy Zukov upgrades. Maybe the Zukov will be our gun of choice today. Even though we're gonna not have any overclocks with it. That'll be a tragedy, but if we can make it work, that'd be pretty badass. At the same time. Uh, definitely I'll go even more damage. My Zooks are just gonna be doing the most damage there ever was of a Zook. They're already doing pretty good damage. Uh, if we can get the stuff stacking, that'd be nice. Oh, we could get the Zubata. Uh, I kind of go for light weapons, like a light weapons build, so I think the Zubata is probably pretty fine. I really hate the friggin' forward-facing guns. Uh, but... I mean back facing guns now i do a lot of running away from the bugs right and if i'm mining i can also just like position my ass like my ass gun to be just like face towards them it also looks like i do have an overclock for the subata which is pretty nice some croppa is also nice big fan of the croppa just a nice meta progression currency I mean, I forget which one it does. I think it's like the movement speed one, so maybe it's not the nicest meta progression of currency, but even still. Also, uh, an eagle-eyed viewer might notice that I'm pretty sure I just answered the question unintentionally about uh, the buff. So I think we walked over that like little fucking nugget of lava and straight up uh, did gain the benefit. Oh yeah, uh, in the previous episode we did like a sort of question, a question of the day. Uh, I'll pick the nitrogenic powder. It's it's bonus crit chance for nitro, which is pretty okay. We might be able to unlock the squinties. Uh, it was like a vocabulary question, and I wanted to ask another one, because uh, why not? I haven't seen any answers to the previous one. If there are answers, I'm still relatively a uh, tiny channel. Uh, but, you know... Uh, that doesn't matter. More than the asking of the question, anyways. Uh, there's a thing that happened in... Oh my god. Oh, I thought we squished fast. We did not. There's a thing that happened in a campaign where there's a word that I thought everyone knew. Uh, that was not the case. So, I wanted to ask you guys if you've ever heard of this word. And it is crenulations. Crenellations. I think it might be called crenellations. So have you heard of it? Not asking you to comment, though if you want to, that is fine. But just, uh, you know, think to yourself if you've heard of this word or not. And I'll explain what it means in a sec. It's uh, the like gear shape things on top of battlements that archers hide behind. Like, uh, they're like uh, above ground arrow slits, basically. Uh, I thought everyone knew about the word. I don't remember where I learned the word, but uh, when I like mentioned them like casually, neither of my uh, two players at the time uh, knew what I meant. I remember being surprised, so. I wanted to relay the question to you guys. Have you heard of it? Is there any words that you know that's... Uh, Rare words, you know, golden rares. 20% reload speed on all light weapons. Let's fucking go. What are the other light weapons that exist? I know there's the boomerang and 
the, uh, what do you call it? Are you, <laughs> fucker. I had like one HP, that's why I didn't do the animation. I shot it dead and it instantaneously exploded. It was just holding in this fucking explosion. A little piece of shit. Unbelievable. Um, of all these, I do think getting reload speed on the spot is cool. I'm a little bit reticent to get the kinetic damage because I'm uncertain. Like, it'll help my main two guns. Well, okay, I mean, if it helps my main two guns, I would have picked 15% damage on the Subano, so I guess fuck it. Do I want an uh, overclock? Yeah, I think I do. So fire rate and reload speed, or less reload speed, but twice the mag. Fuck, I don't know which one of these is better. To be honest. I gotta, th I'll go for clip size this time. We'll just have to feel it out. Hopefully we get like both of them at some point. Because that would just be net 100% clip, si clip size. <laughs> clip size. And also uh, fire rate. But you never know. Uh, I don't know how the math works specifically. If it would be like a... Less so. Less good or whatever. Like if it's multiplicative... When it's an overclock, like 125, or if it's like, um, sorry, I'm, I'm heavy buffering. Like, let's say your base reload speed is 100%, and then I got minus 25% reload speed, so it's 75. And then I was to multiply that by 125, I don't think 125 of 75 is 100. But I might be dumb. I'm pretty sure... No, because 25 is a quarter of 75, right? So clearly that would not add up. Oh, that's some good exploding. Also, I dodged. Dodged the foe. Uh, I think 50% fire rate is pretty fucking good. So now my Zooks are friggin' little miniguns. Oh my god. That was the proest dodge I've ever done in this game. If I remember, I'm like fucking zooming in to that. Let's see, this is another light weapon. Stubby Voltaic. I guess I'll grab that as well. Targets the closest enemy, so it's like a tiny GK2. It's a little bit unfortunate that it's electrical damage, but at the same time, electrical damage is good. It provides like a debuff to the foes, and I think a crit chance as well. And crit synergizes with the scout. Fire rate for all projectile weapons is pretty, pretty good as well, considering all my weapons are projectile weapons for now. Who knows what my last one will be, but if it's another projectile weapon, it'd be pretty badass. Is the burst fire gun a uh, light gun? It kind of seems like it is, right? We could have like the dual, the dual Zook situation, basically. Supply pod inbound. Hold up. Your fire rate and reload speed and standing still. Plus 2% plus 2% for 2 seconds stacks up to 10 times. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, I would use that sometimes. Yeah, fuck it. Like, it decays after a little bit, so... Clearly strategies to, like, build it up and then set it down, right? Or, I, I don't know, sometimes I do stand still. Like, uh, when going for the, uh, thingy, the drop bonds. Or when I'm waiting for the bug annoyance. All incredibly valid times to stand still. I'll stand still right now. Oh, yeah. I will say these fucking... These little motherfuckers. Uh, definitely. The shooty guys definitely uh, put a little uh, pin in the style there. Kind of fuck it up. Uh, I think. 10% global fire rate, once again, is good. I mean, we have like a crazy fire rate already. So I'm not like super enthralled. How did I take 42 damage, bro? I must have not noticed when little chicken nuggies. I mean, even still, fire rate. It's just generally speaking nice. So, 
Not gonna really complain. Now look at that, we're fucking these guys up. Incredibly nicely. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get him. I was trying to style on him. I'll get even more fire rate. I have so many fire rate upgrades. I wonder if we're hitting like diminishing returns. Uh, 50% reload speed on the stubby voltaic is also incredibly nice. It's just gonna be like a straight up, like, it's gonna be on line a lot more. Uh, another 30% reload speed on all my light weapons I think is good. Uh, I think 25% damage is probably better than the more fire rate for the Subana just because my fire rate is so high already. You have your objectives. Hmm. Time to collect some gold. I need to level up a lot of my guns. Two of them are like five levels away from Nirvana, you know, from Ascension. It'd be so nice to have the ability to have overclocks for all of them. Oh yeah, when I'm mining, I can just stack up this upgrade as well. And then for two seconds after I'm done mining, just like literally have plus 10% fire rate. So that is another like perfect opportunity there. I mean, plus 10% fire rate and reload speed isn't like insane or anything like that, but it's pretty nice, you know? It's not nothing, that's for sure. Especially uh, depending on if it's additive or multiplicative. Which is the eternal question that I probably should just Google at some point instead of just constantly speculating on it. Um, oof. It's a lot of bugs, but we narrowly escaped them. Oh, I see some Krampa. I'll gather up the Krampa. Wandafu. Yoink that as well. I definitely will just go through the lava zone. I see I took zero damage, but gained no movement speed. It didn't even give me the opportunity to dodge the magma. Magma's just given up on being able to attack me. Which is really, uh... You know, responsible of it, but unsurprising. Or, uh, surprising. The opposite of what I said. Uh... Yikers, fam. Okay, hold up. Alright, spiral skewch pattern. Has been engaged. I was kind of hoping that exploder would have, uh... Exploded right then and there. I guess not. I didn't see that guy under the explosion. I will say, I'm really liking the scout. I like the feel of it. I like its movement speed. Oh, I like its ability to dodge and save me from my own self. It's just extremely nice. This is a good run so far. This feels like a nice classic. Vampire Survivors character or whatever. I mean, I haven't played that game, so... That might be some bold... Some bold talking by me and, like, the Engineer. Uh, of all these, I'll do the Cold Grenades, because I think freezing the enemies in their tracks has got to be... Uh, better than... Fucking around with electrocuting them for, like, a little bit of damage. You know? Alright, give me all the XP on the map. Um, I'll get some reload speed on the one gun. Uh, I think... Eh, yeah, fuck it. Fire rate, sure. 5% damage, sure. 15% damage, sure. Uh, reload speed on the frost grenade, sure. 20% fire rate on three-fourths of my weapons, sure. That's an amazing combo of level ups that we just got. Oh, there's some gold on, just sitting on the ground, being chilling. Uh, I, I overcommitted to the poking the exploder there. Not good. 15% damage though, now that is good. 
Uh, I want to go... Does the map update? I think the map actually updates when you mine through shit. Yeah, I just noticed now. That's interesting. Alright, give me that nitro. Me gusta the nitro. Oh, that was a nice explosion. Alright, I guess I'll finish off this Praetorian. Oh my god. I dodged another fucking explosion. How much damage has been saved? Uh, I will get the 15% almost universal damage. I think that'll be pretty good for me. A good addition to the squad. And that'll close out the third mission. Pretty good. I feel like we're on a good trajectory and might actually win this round. That's a lot of purple upgrades. Big fan. I think I want to go for the crit chance. Because that'll help me unlock something. Uh, Definitely 35% damage. I will get a Zukov upgrade. I'll roll, but... Yeah, it was dubious I'd find anything. But whatever. Got the Alpaca Bloom objective. I like the Alpaca Bloom one. It is, uh, like, the second easiest one. First easiest one being, like, the Morkite. Because, uh, you just need to find, like, two veins for the Morkite. The Alpaca Blooms, you only need to find six of them. Which makes them a lot better than the Bulu Caps, where you have to fucking scour the map. Which is just not as great. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Alpaca Blooms are spaced out, so you have to scour the map for them as well. I don't know, it always feels like a bit easier to me. I'm a big fan of the easy side objectives. Alright, explode nuggies. Wonderful. Oh, that's a lot of bugs over there. Alright, I'm just gonna zoop on by. Use the Zukovs to just, like, rake over them. Oh man, it'd be so cool if I could have gotten the, the overclock to give more penetration. I think 10% mining speed is pretty good. Oh, let me get away with the even crazier shit. I think I'm gonna scooch over here. Get the exploders to explode the gold for me. And then the exploders to explode the exploders for me. Alright, it was kind of a kind of complicated dodge I had to do there. Did not succeed. Will succeed next time, surely. That, that's a wall of hatred there. Oh no, I took 30 damage from the fucking guy. That's pretty nuts, huh? Oh, luckily there's some red sugar over here. If we could get a magnet, that'd be pretty amazing. Very cool if I could. It's a lowest chance, but who knows? It might happen. Uh, I think I will take another 4% movement speed. Like, movement speed's what I've mostly been banking on. It's just, like, good to have, you know? It's a nice little boon. Let me scooch around enemies with more ease. Reposition myself for the Zukobs, you know? All the good stuff. Now I've got to just mine this thing out. Probably going to have to rely on the Exploders to clear the rest of it out. Uh, excuse me, bro? Fucking, how am I supposed to get out of this one? Are you actually fucking joking? It's just like, lol, dudes are coming from every single direction, good luck. Like, what the hell, bro? Oh god, there's Exploders. Uh, I'll get the critical damage. Also, I need to fucking loop these guys or something. There's so many exploders, bro. Can they not? Also, I am just like dealing a shit ton of damage to the elite. Uh, I'll take 15 damage on the Subata. I think that's just nice. Uh, healing granted on level up, sure. 
10% damage on the gun, sure. 15% damage to all my guns, sure. Uh, I'll get 15% Zukov damage. I think that's extremely respectable. Uh, 40% fire rate on all projectile weapons. That's pretty good. Uh, I probably want to uh, do a little XP hunting. Oh my god, that exploder snipes the fucking dude. Oh my god. What the fuck? 10% uh, damage. Sure. Got a little bit hoed there. It is what it is. I mean, on the positive side, we are still, like, incredibly leveled up. Got a little bit of crop as well. Probably couldn't mind it all, but I wanted to uh, be a little bit conservative with it. We're on the last mission now, so I think, uh, I mean, we're going to get some level ups, so luck isn't bad. 10% damage to most of my gun isn't bad. Uh, reload speed and damage on this gun is pretty cool. I could just heal, but there's no point. Can't afford any of this shit. And we can't afford anything of this either. Alright. Let's fucking go. We're gonna have to find these cocoons and eliminate them with great prejudice. So that we don't have to uh, wait for a bunch of bugs to spawn. Oh my god. Dude got fucking frozen solid. Oh man, he's going a long way around. What a little pussy. Oh. Barely worth any respect at all. Would have been just like one damage, bro. Uh, obviously, I will take the 10% damage. Uh, oh, some Moon Knight. Don't mind if I do. Just yoinkify this. Magnificent. Now we can progress and check the bottom corner of the map. See if I can find another cocoon and get rid of it. Uh, get out of here, Nuggies. I see the cocoon, by the way. I want to mine the meta progression currency first. What a sneaky little cocoon. To be placed all the way in this little, like, corner of the map. Extraordinarily sneaky. Uh, we might be fucking Cinnamon Toes Crunch here. Not fucking careful. Oh, we scooch through just fine. Oh yeah, this guy's fucked. Wonderful. I was being a little bit greedy for the standing still upgrades there. Uh, 20% damage on most of my guns, sure. Or, well, half of my guns. We need one upgrade in two of... Or in my, uh, one guy. My, uh, electric SMG. In order to get it, uh, able to do the overclocks. And I'm gonna need three or four upgrades for the Zukovs. Three upgrades. Is that the original egg, or is that... That is the OG egg, the big egg. Okay, I kind of suspected the other one was going to be in the top left corner. But I didn't want to believe it. Oh, well. Let's go pop the egg in the top corner. I'll clean up the landing zone when I damn well please. Mission control. I will take some gold. I don't know why I'm mining this gold. I shouldn't be mining this gold. I mean, it probably gives me more money at the end of the mission. No, that's what it does in the base DRG. Didn't think I was close enough to trigger those guys. Here we go. This one's also just in a fucking remote corner of the map. What the hell is this guy doing in Siberia? It's kind of fucked up if you ask me. Alright, Nuggies. Get out of the way. Uh, okay. I didn't necessarily want to fire on the Dreadnought this much yet. Uh, we're accidentally gonna fucking destroy this guy if we're not careful. 
I really don't think I can uh, bring the sky. Oh no, there's no fucking way. I'm gonna get the straw pod. I need to escape. Fire rate on the Zukov, sure. Uh, I'll just get some level ups back here. I mean, maybe I should have fought the Dreadnought, but there's so many bugs around, you know? And this is such a nice funnel. They're all taking fire damage. And then lining up for my Zooks. It's just, like, perfect. Like, we're doing so much damage, though. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That double dodge was so fucking clutch. Uh, am I dead? I don't think I'm dead. Oh, oh my god, dude. I was incredibly close to death, though. There's so many fucking bugs on Has 2, brother. How the fuck does anyone fight Has 5? Is there just that much meta regression? Did I just pick the bad upgrades? I mean, we're killing the shit out of this guy, at least. So I guess, like... We're not supposed to kill all the bugs. That's just the start and stop of it. <laughs> Doing some advanced scootry there. Oh, this is a little bit terrifying. Alright, please perish. Alright, we've actually got it. Now we just need to escape. Drop pod, you fucking... Why are you there, Drop Pod? Of all the fucking places in the universe. Oh my god, that level was so clutch. <laughs> Stubby Voltaic. Overclock gotten as well. Let's fucking go. Has to complete. That was a real motherfucker. We got Barley Bulb Juice. Overclocks for the Voltaic. We got two Nuggies. And some Scout XP. Looks like our Zukovs, unsurprisingly, did the most damage. The Stubby Voltaic was pretty close in terms of DPS, and the Subata wasn't that far away either. About half as much. Well, a little bit more, but you get what I mean. That was a really good round. We extracted so many resources as well. Of which I could get, like, a 1% movement speed buff. Uh, I mean, I think the life regen is definitely more important than I'll get the movement speed because it's cheaper. A pretty good round. I like the scout in this game. I like any class that's just like fast and maneuverable. I kind of feel like I like the normal scout more. How long till I unlock the next scout? Let's see. Where's that red beard? So sharpshooter is level 18. That's definitely gonna be like starting with the M1000. So that's gonna be like the Giga Chad scout. Which will be cool. There's so many guns to unlock. It's really quite nuts though. Well, that'll do it for today. I'll just say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor Danger Darkness Dwarves. Goodbye!